Number one, Nicole. Last week, my son was waving his fork around with a piece of food on it, and before I could tell him not to do that, the food flew off and hit my husband in the forehead and stuck there. I had to leave the table because I was laughing so hard. Okay, the first time I read this, I was literally cracking up at my desk because I was just picturing, <laughs> I was just picturing the whole scene. Like, it's like one of those scenes from a movie where you feel like that could never happen, but... I could totally see it happening. Like, how do you how do you contain yourself when something like that happens? You just, you can't, you just gotta laugh. Okay, number two, Amanda. When my daughter, now 10, was two, I caught her standing in the fridge eating a stick of butter. Pause. How, okay, I need to know like, what kind of fridge was this? That she was just standing in the fridge and eating a stick of butter. I mean, she went for the good stuff, I guess. I always thought it was funny in like TV shows, at least I remember seeing it every once in a while when like, you know, the mom would be upset or something, she'd have a stick of butter with like salt and be like eating it or maybe with sugar. I was like, I never thought to do that. Maybe they're onto something. All right, there's more. When my son, now eight, was four, his favorite food was grilled cheese, but he hated bread and he hated cheese. <laughs> So we never told him what it was made from. One day his sister says, you know, it's just bread and cheese, right? I was so mad. He wouldn't eat for weeks until he forgot what she said. That's hilarious. I love like the logic with some kids. Like they're so particular about foods, but they will like it. They're just, there's the idea of the food they don't like. Like my brother, when he was younger, Oh gosh, there were so many things. There were so many things. So my parents would make us this thing called, we would just call it strawberries and cream. And we would just be strawberries with sour cream on top and brown sugar. And if it sounds gross to you, don't knock it till you try it because it's so good. Oh my gosh, I recently had it, not with sour cream, but with Greek yogurt. Because Greek yogurt and sour cream are very similar. But anyways, and it's still so good. The brown sugar, it just all ties in together. Anyways, so he hated sour cream though. He would not eat it like on tacos or anything. He wouldn't put it on. And so we would always just say strawberries and cream. Oh, can I have more cream? And they'd be like, sure. And they'd like turn away and put it in until one day he saw the container and he would not trust them. He would not eat it. It was the same way with, I think it was, chicken maybe he would do he would eat chicken sandwiches but not turkey and so my mom would be like oh yeah it's chicken and just put like turkey on the sandwich and he didn't know he was like oh yeah like it's good until he realized one day it was turkey so it's more about like the idea of it number three caitlin my son is 10 months old and whenever he has a tantrum he will cry and throw himself down on his face all dramatic several times before he will finally pick up to calm him down. And I can't help but just laugh. So this doesn't tie into food, but I feel like she really wanted to share this story. So we just put it in anyways. Maybe it has to do with food and then maybe that part was left out. We're just gonna leave it and I think it's great. Okay, number four, Kaylee. When my daughter was a year old, she's two now, I was making chocolate chip cookies. Well, I had some on the table cooling and I thought they were pushed back far enough. I noticed she had disappeared, so I called her, and she came walking into the kitchen with not just one, but two cookies eating away with the biggest smile. She's got chocolate all over her face. Oh man, I've been there. Gotta like sneak the cookies, run away. They'll never know, it's fine. That's funny. I mean, how can you resist the smell of cookies? Number five, Kelly. My son wanted cereal. I asked if he wanted it dry or with milk. He said with milk. I gave him a bowl of cereal in milk and he refused to touch it because the cereal had milk on it. Turns out he wanted both milk and cereal in the bowl, but not be touching. He was very mad that bowls didn't work this way. <sighs> hey, it's, maybe it's a new invention. You have a bowl with like a divider in the middle. I'm sure there's something out there. There's all kinds of things, but that's hilarious that he thought like you were so, such an amazing mom that you could somehow like a force field that they wouldn't touch. All right, number six, anonymous. I set a bowl of microwavable mac and cheese on fire by not adding water. This is a case of the distracted mom. I mean, come on, you've got so many things going on. Can we really blame you? No, 
we've all been guilty of stuff like this. I mean, oh gosh, I put my coffee mug places. I've put things in the fridge that don't belong in the fridge. We've all, we've all been there. Number seven, anonymous. Was doing too many things at once. Go figure. Here we go. We got another one. I went to warm up my Olive Garden leftovers in the fridge. First the pasta, I pulled it out. Then I put in the breadsticks. I walked away to help my son with something. Only to hear sparks and, a and see a flash in our microwave. I ran over and opened it. I had put the breadsticks in the microwave in the foil wrapper. I'm just glad I stopped before a fire started. You gotta be quick with those. And you have to be careful because sometimes to-go containers, yeah, like have the foil on the inside. Those Olive Garden ones are sneaky because they look like a regular bag, but they got that heat tech technology or whatever. So, yep. Awesome, guys. Well, thank you so much for sharing your funny food-related stories, except for that one that wasn't food-related, but you know what? We're going to make it work. We ask new questions every single Friday on our social media and in our Facebook group. And tell us what questions or what funny stories you have. Maybe we'll just do a more generic one and just see what you guys want to share. I love reading these stories. It kind of just adds to the community, finding things to laugh at and yeah, going through life together. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning into this episode and I will see you next week.